Hello everyone, good evening to you all who are joining us uh, through uh, internet and today we are going to have an interview with uh, one of the past presidents of the Ananda College Old Boys Association that is none other than Dr. Ranjit Cabral. He is with us today and he was very uh, uh, nice to have given his uh, valuable time to get this interview of uh, with a short notice of course I should say. So to start with doctor I would like to uh, take your memory back to your childhood age which is which is nothing but a very usual question anybody would ask. So can you just tell us how would you recall your childhood uh, particularly who are your parents and what were they doing and your sisters and brothers from that time? Yes, fortunately or unfortunately I was born in Malaysia in Penang. Uh, I say fortunately because I have a better feeling of the country than anybody who was born here. I don't know if I, I may be wrong. My parents, my father was working with a British company in Penang, uh, then I was born there. Then the war started in uh, that area. Uh, then my uh, father was forced to come to Sri Lanka with me and my mother. So we started our life here. Then I was attending a convent in Kalania as a temporary uh, arrangement because father had the idea of getting back to Malaysia after the war. And after, so we quietly settled down, and then halfway through, uh, there was an opportunity to enter Ananda. By then, it was by examination. So the test was conducted at a particular day where I was summoned by Royal College as well as Ananda. So my father decided, no, I should drop the Royal College and go to Ananda. So that's how I entered Ananda and then started my life during from uh, Mr. L. H. Mehtananda's time. Then ended up uh, in uh, Mr. S. A. Vijaytalaka's time. Entered the university in 1962, I believe. 62. And your mother was uh, a housewife? Housewife. Was she was mother? a housewife. Oh. Yeah, any, any brothers or sisters? In I have my brother, five years younger to me, and a sister, 20 years younger to me. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. And how are they doing now? Uh, they also retired and have their own lives uh, in this part of the country. Uh, one is in Panadura, the one is in Mount Rainier. Uh, my brother was working at a college uh, as a registrar for the hostel for some time. Uh, now he's a retired life and he's more gone for more meditation. So your brother hasn't had the chance of joining Ananda with you? No, no, of course, he, he was, was, he was Ananda. Oh, that's important to remember because yeah, he, was Ananda. he was Ananda. Yeah. Just uh, before yeah. you? Yeah. After me. After me, that's your... Uh, yeah. Five years younger, yeah, five years. So you are the eldest of the family yeah. and you were born in Malaysia and then thereafter you had the, your brother and then the sister 20 years back. Most probably would have been in Sri Lanka, of course. Yeah, my father planned to go to Malaysia but my entering Ananda Re resisted his going back. Okay, good. So one, okay, but now being in two countries, one uh, one sp uh, so long spell in Malaysia and then having coming back to Sri Lanka, then you would probably be uh, having some uh, uh, childhood remembrance. How did you, you know, mix with the people, in, the children in chi uh, the Malaysia at that time and then came back here? Language is of course an issue, def definitely, but be a part, but what are the other remembrance that you have from your childhood? Is in Malaysia. I vaguely remember how the Japanese occupation, how the Japanese were walking in front of a house in Penang. And also after coming back, came in a ship and then uh, from Colombo Harbour. Then we came to the city in a rowing boat. That was the time and I still remember my grandfather with a Konle behind, had a tea party at the GOH hotel at that time, Grand Oriental Hotel. So your grand, grand, uh, your grandfather, grandmother, and also they were them. also all, all here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. only my father went. Okay, right, right. So that now you, you were there. What is important point here? When I came to Sri Lanka, I didn't know a word of Singhal. I knew only English and Malay. Okay. okay. So Still you I, recall Malay? Yeah. No, I have forgotten. Very vague. Yeah. Very vague. Yeah. Very vague. Yeah. Okay, fine. Because my then I had to do my kiyavima. 
Akur kia wima, anda kira tu dia pelajaran ramai naik kat sini. So how old was he? How old you? About about six plus seven. Oh, right. Late as such. Okay. So then you said uh, you had uh, early education when you came back to Sri Lanka in a convent, and thereafter through a, a, a competitive examination, you got selected to Ananda. Uh, when when was this uh, in in terms of year? I believe at the fifty. Fifty. Uh, one or fifty-two, fifty-one or fifty-two. So, so you entered into which class in Ananda? Grade one. Straight form one. Form one. Form one. You call form one. Form one. Stay. Okay. So you had the chance of doing joining that. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Fine. My that's class teacher was Mrs. Rajapaksa, G. W. Rajapaksa, wife. Okay. Right. That's very important point because. <laughs> so then, okay. So you had the early education from grade one, and then you went up to. Uh, the advanced level examination uh, they, those days called higher edu high education high school sorry high, high, school high school certificate, certificate. high school certificate HS. yeah 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 and uh, so can you just uh, tell a little bit about your uh, the time span at ananda from grade 1 to the high school level and what were you involved with and any sports activities and any uh, society that you have taken uh, interested in or been been Quite leading interesting i think we had a all round education at ananda Few examples I could. I did matty work, pottery. Okay. That taught. Okay. Then there was a workshop where we had to do tinkering, oh, uh, okay. metal work, okay. as well as woodwork. Okay. Then uh, we had art, which I was never good at art, but I was forced to do art. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that type of uh, all-round education, I still remember when you were in grade uh, form three. Uh, Mithananda was the principal, Mr. Mithananda. Mr. Mithananda wanted us to learn Tamil, though we were going through medium of Singhala. Mm -hmm. Studies were in Singhala, but Tamil was compulsory. Okay. Then uh, we resisted because of the nationalistic feeling. Okay. But Mithananda saw the future and wanted us to learn Tamil. But we resisted. Virtually, we show a body language, we don't want to learn that para language, yeah. uh, that's it, yeah. right? But then he was smart enough to bring down a beautiful Tamil lady to teach us. Okay. Her beauty forced us to <laughs> focus our mind into the Tamil <laughs> classes. So three years Tamil was taught. Thanks to that uh, young, young and nice looking lady. Yeah. Okay, okay. And during your time, can you remember that who are your contemporaries in school who are now doing uh, well in the... Yeah, the, some are dead and gone. Yeah. Uh, Rohan Daluatta, uh, Harsha, Senior Ratna, gynecologist, okay. they were the school. Then uh, Yataka Mamaradas was two years, late Amaradas was two years younger to us. Uh, Sunny Yatavar was two years elder to me. Okay. Uh, fast bowler yeah. who came from yes. Dharmaraja. Uh, most of them have migrated. Ramya Siri, now doctor in New Zealand. Uh, BMA Balasuri, a senior to me, he was the chief. Then HB Jayasekara was the head prefect during our school time. Uh, he died recently. Uh, only very few are surviving now. And I am one of those surviving at the age of 80 now. Oh. I should that you would have a long time to come back because you don't see that uh, you have uh, got. Uh, I believe that I'm in a departure lounge, so I'm yeah. ready to uh, find anything. <laughs> <laughs> so these were the classmates or the contemporary that you have had associated with during your time. And uh, how, how, any, any any particular uh, uh, tutorial staff member that you could recall has been your guidance or has been your the master who made your life uh, into a turning point many many I, I yeah, because there, there were people who said uh, in the previous interviews also okay he is mr x was yeah. behind me and he was the man who made me where i am now yeah there are so many one was ab kahavata i used to remember when i get marks for science below 70 i get the ruler cut into my hand mm -hmm. because he demands that i should we should have more than 70. Okay. That with a loving feeling. Then SKK Suraj, who became a former minister. Uh, minister. Okay. Uh, uh, characters. Then Kotaka Vachis Ramlu. Yeah. Then CM Viradna. Right. Then Panika. 
Mr. Panikkar, who taught science, but he didn't tell, but he was a mentor for us in his own way. D.S. Abhay Singha, uh, Keerthi Singha, vice principal those days, uh, Mr. Keith Singha, who taught us physics, uh, then uh, J.R.P. Surya Perma, who taught uh, We were forced to learn Singha in our uh, uh, senior classes. So for the senior class, for that, uh, there were few teachers who came. Magama Sekara came and taught us singhala. Then uh, J.R.P. Surya Perma came and taught us singhala. Uh, J.R.P. Surya Perma didn't teach singhala, but he spoke, he, he taught, uh, taught us Marxism of Stalin. Okay. <laughs> because he was a Marxist, Marxist. at that time. <laughs> then, uh, 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 like that. Okay. Doctor, any 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 particular incident or uh, kind of incidents that you do recall during your time at Ananda, which you would not forget at all? Because sometimes people have okay. When I was going through something, I got some marks, and then uh, immediately I got the marks turned around by looking at something. Some some kind of things you can recall? Yes, very much. I think uh, when we were in the form two, that is seventh standard in today's context, Mr. Surya H. S. K. K. Surya H. was the class teacher. We had uh, trips every term. First term is one day trip, second term two day trip, third term three day trip. Okay. So in the second, first term, first term one day trip, we were taken to Ratnapura and we were strictly told not to eat anything or buy anything from outside the bus. So bus stopped somewhere and we bought some cuddle or something and he identified seven people who did this. I am one of those. So okay. what he did was at Ratnapula town, we went to see, I think, uh, Manik Patal and other things. But he turned the vehicle, came back straight to school as a punishment. Ah, so you all didn't have the chance of seeing the genetics? Nothing, nothing. Just came back and then he caught us, the seven people, and took us walking on the road, like Tapa says, to Odi Pansala, Maradana, from college to the Odi Pansala, and got the Nayakatero to, uh, we had to worship Nayakatero and confess us. We never, we never, we'll never do anything such thing in the future. So those are, we enjoyed. Uh, though I was, I was in top seven in class, but we were a little bit, uh, those are learning cycles for us. Okay. Kavata was one, then we had uh, uh, Mr. Case Pereira. Okay. I don't know, yeah. teacher. Then we had, uh, uh, I can't remember the name, Case Pera, of course, when he, my classmate was Suranimala also, D.B. Nihal Singh, her brother. Mm -hmm. So Suranimala was, uh, he was not interested in studying, so he was playing fun in class. I still remember Mr. Case Pera, I wanted to slap him. He took the ring from his right hand hand, put it into the left hand and gave him the slap. <laughs> Otherwise, he would have injured with the metal. So, those are some of the things. And then, uh, Mr. Ch uh, Chandra Ratna, somebody I can't remember now, I forget the name. His punishment was oh, he squeezed the tummy. Konitana, oh, he gallop, he had to take it. That those are the punishments. But those punishments were given with the motive of correcting the people, yeah, but yeah, not yeah. with the vengeance. Yeah, yeah. Just because that they have to do. Because the teachers are exemplary. Exactly. Teachers are real mentors. So we, when you look back, we say we deserve it. So we accepted it without any fuss. I still remember there was a time where Ekanayaka boy cricketers, they were hostelers, few others I can't remember. Ekanayaka, they were caught smoking in the hostel. Mm -hmm. Then uh, they had a total uh, shaven head. They had to come to school from hostel with a shaven head, seven of them or eight of them, to school every day. So that was so, a scene. So, yeah. so it was known. Rajapaksa, Mr. Rajapaksa, G.W. Rajapaksa, the warden at that time. Right. So were you a hosteler by any chance? No, 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 no. never. I had the chance of being a sub warden after, <laughs> after degree. Okay. Uh, working in school because there was a tradition where Mr. Rajapaksa call till your results are out, some uh, graduates to come back and teach in school. So I was one of them, myself, Santana Rajapaksa, B.W. Uh, Veerasinghe who is in New Zealand, Ranji Soisa, 
they were some of those right who were so we were in hostel we were given hostel accommodation my salary was 60 rupees uh, and uh, we had to stay food was free but uh, we uh, as, stu- as as tutors uh, for the students uh, at the subword subword but teachers we taught teacher we taught right. So that, uh, uh, did you take part in any sports activities by any chance? Or? Yes, by sport career, I was a good badminton player, but I played for the school, but uh, not as a class, star class, but I managed to represent school one or twice. Uh, then my athletic wo- career was under Vijay Dasa, but I didn't have money at that time to buy a new pair of spikes. So Vijay Dasa, no way you can do sports. So I had to second hand spikes were bought, but he rejected. So that was my end of athletic career. Oh gosh! Okay, <laughs> Mr. K. L. Vijay is still living. <laughs> so, so you didn't have any other intention of going for any other sports? Oh, were there any sports at that time? Yeah, as, yeah as tennis was there. Uh, tennis was considered as a cool deal. Bogalagam, other people like uh, those people were playing, and uh, athletic was the most popular, most well, popular school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Swimming to some extent because the Marx brothers, Boris Marx and uh, Geoffrey Marx, so therefore there were people who really went Bending. for uh, the swimming, right. but we didn't have pool, so we used to go to St. Joseph for, for swimming. I swimming as well, okay, fine. That, that, that was the scenario till the time that we had our own pool, yeah. Any, any society activities, doctor? Like, uh, because you are, you are a yeah. good orator, I can understand, you can speak, you can express no, yourself very fluently in Singhala and English both. So, were yeah, you I was with the debating? vice president of the uh, post senior student English union. Okay. Uh, uh, Arya Ratna was the president who died very recently, he lives in Canada. Uh, then, uh, Mr. Seji Dilekas' son Padmavarna was in the committee. Few of the people I remember. Pusella, who is in the States, was the secretary of the post senior student okay. English union. English. Okay. So we had a post senior English student and a post senior single student. So you involved with both? Both. No, I was very much in English. English. So there was a debating. Uh, uh, there was a debating, like I, we used to watch, I think, Mr. Sumana Sekara, now Vidura principal, was one of the debaters. Then J.B. Disanayaka was not debating, but he was, I remember him as a uh, scholar in, his, in the school. Uh, like I can't remember the other names, uh, Bodhinayaka, not Ranapala, Ranapala's nephew, okay. who became a Buddha Dasa Bodhinayaka. He was one of the debaters, debaters. famous debater. Then we have uh, WMK. Uh, Vijay Tunga, who died recently, then uh, Mahendra, Sunanda Mahendra Mel was senior to us. Okay. We remember how they uh, had elections in school. We used to have elections for for what? This, that, that for the, the union ah, okay. elections. Okay. Singhala union, English union, we selected English union, of course, by and large, it was automatically unanimously selected. But Singhala unions, post union, normally we had elections. So I saw some poster campaign and all sort of those things were there. Uh, um. And uh, uh, did you have uh, the nowadays, like nowadays, uh, like a prefect guild and something like that at that time in school? We had prefects. Uh, we didn't have a separate society for them. Then we had some other group which are under the prefects. They are called disciplinary officers or disciplinary students who looked after the discipline and helped the prefects. Mm-hmm. And very much during the big match, they are supposed to be on the uh, lookout for Ground, indiscipline. Ground and look for the indisciplined students, <laughs> which is a very difficult task, I don't think. So, Doctor, now you have spent, uh, actually, uh, and anybody would uh, imagine, a full span of, uh, uh, you know, childhood at Anand, from one to the the upper, the senior level, which is about mostly about 12 or 13 years of uh, your your time. So, having uh, completed that, then you are now venturing out to your higher studies that you got your selections uh, yes. to the university. So, just explain a little bit about how did you, uh, you know, not how, but uh, uh, when did you get selected and uh, to which faculty and to which stream and uh, that was that your forte or that was by accident that you <laughs> got selected? There are Actually, a couple of we never had a uh, thought that we will fail. 
Out of my class, only two people failed the university entrance. We had only about 17 in the HSC class. Out of that, two, one went to, uh, had a Czechoslovakian scholarship, Leela Nanda, he went to Czechoslovakia. Other person remained in Sri Lanka, all others entered the university. So, I joined the University of Ceylon Science Faculty, then it was in Colombo. Uh, and in 1962, I believe, then 67, also I graduated. Then pending results, I came to college to teach for some reasons. Then about nine months or 10, 11 months, during that period, uh, Mr. Perusinga was the principal. G.W. Rajapaksa was the vice principal. He was our mentor. So if you ask me as a corporate management leader in the past, my first management exercise was given by Rajapak, Mr. G.W. Rajapaksa to run a carnival in aid of the Vihare. Okay, okay. That's very important. Yeah, Vihare. So we, I remember that was my first management. So he stayed in a closed room and he was consulted for issues. But we had to manage our, the, the whole science exhibition, industrial exhibition, then games, then various other stalls. Those are in, in the school premises. Mm -hmm. So it was a carnival of the year, those days. When was this, if you remember? In uh, 62. 63 or 64? 63 or 64. No, no, after I, I graduated. It's 60. So, when did you enter the university? 62. 62. So, to the university 60, of uh, university Kalam, of, uh, Ceylon. University of Ceylon at that time. No? University of Ceylon, Faculty of uh, Science. Faculty of Science. Okay. So, you did uh, uh, what chemistry, sort? physics, and mathematics. Okay. <laughs> okay. Royal combination, they call it. <laughs> they call it royal combination. I, I don't know for what reason. But difficult, difficult. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So you completed your basic uh, degree uh, from the University of Colombo and then you persuaded for higher uh, postgraduate studies. No, it was after from there I joined college and from college I selected as a management trainee of Ceramic, Ceylon Ceramic Corporation. Okay. So while I was there, my unfortunately my wife's Bapa became the chairman. Then there was a little bit of, I was, plan, I was to go on a scholarship. But uh, he was a little disturbed because whether it's been favoured for me to get the scholarship. So I resigned from Ceylon Ceramic Corporation mm -hmm. and joined the National Council of Higher Education. Okay. And as a statistical officer, from there I got the scholarship, Columbia Plan Scholarship to the UK. So that's your pursuit for your PhD? PhD. Okay. So PhD in which, which stream that you have? It's uh, called uh, Psychometric Psychology and Statistics. Okay. We psychometry, are, psychology, and no, psychology and statistics called psychometrics. Psychometrics, okay. So, I did in London for three years, came back and joined the university. Then, uh, National Council of Higher Education. Then, I had a disagreement with Mr. Pascal Lingam then on mm -hmm. the Jaffna campus. Okay. Uh, so, I left the uh, university set up and joined um, SLIDA, Sri Lanka History Development Studies. Development Studies. SLIDA and from SLIDA to Bank of Ceylon, from Bank of Ceylon to Unilever. Okay. So, where, where, where did you have your the longest career in your uh, Unilever. Time? Unilever. For 17, 18 years. 17, 18 years you were with uh, the Unilever. You don't live a Ceylon at that time. Yes. No, it, then you talk about Lever Brothers Ceylon Limited. Lever Brothers Ceylon Limited, yes. That's, that's important. Lever Brothers Ceylon Limited. So, you were there for about 17 years and then uh, you uh, virtually uh, joined the... Uh, yeah, then it was uh, some sort of a <laughs> career which I had to involve with Mrs. Bandaranayaka uh, and helped her in various movements mm -hmm. in the country management. Okay. So, <laughs> I did. I never did politics, but I was behind her. Uh, I was in an advisory committee for the Sirimao. Okay. Others were Mr. Anuradharathwate, Somasara Dasanayaka, Anada Anandian, then GLP is 
the former vice chancellor professor he was in that committee then a uh, few others about six or seven so i was the youngest member of that advisory committee to the late prime minister sirma bandar sirma bandar naik okay so then after that uh, were you involved in the uh, the political career with the ms bandar naik for some time i was in and out while even leave us also i used to help sirma bandar naik as and when required on policy matters mm-hmm. uh, then uh, when chand mr ms chandrika kumaratunga contested as the president i was the ca- one of the campaign managers there were four campaign managers for her i was representing sirma bandar naik okay. then navin gunaratna for okay uh, atula mudri party then uh, hem sir rodrigo for chandrika uh, one more i can't remember uh, uh, ravi karana we were the four campaign managers for for her contest for her elections okay for presidency candidates okay fine but we were not a politicians we were behind the scene making the campaign a professional outlook okay so that, well, now what is how how is your experience uh, your 17 years at uh, liver brothers ceylon because that's that's uh, i think out of your career path that's probably one of the multinationals or a privately oriented companies that you have uh, been been to because all the other sleda or any other one either uh, state or state half state oriented or not so uh, private uh, oriented but these are all uh, regulatory kind of uh, institutions I should say that I learned a lot in the public service in the sense uh, sleda university yeah. uh, various other places in the public sector including bank of ceylon because it was a state bank and there were rules and regulation I learned but I practiced those what I learned in the public sector in the private sector <laughs> because I was allowed to practice because there were good rules and regulations okay. so I implemented those things in the private sector okay so i consider that as a some sort of I, i always used to say i was trained by the public sector for the benefit of the private sector okay so that was a unfortunate <laughs> it should be that i don't know whether fortunate or unfortunate i enjoyed that life because what i learned i practiced at unit uh, live rather so long limited under the chairmanship of stanley javadana for some time but till he became the chairman all the british people were the chairman chairman So now having having completed the uh, uh, span of uh, your this exposure to uh, the public the private sector and then you started some interest and in get involved with the Anand College All Boys Association as well way back before because when I joined Leavers when I joined college back as a staff member mm. pending results there was a uh, policy one of the staff members represent the uh, school at the ob all okay. anandian okay okay so i am being all anandian mr rajapaksa wanted me to get into the executive committee of the old boys association right so that is how i started like okay when was this like doctor if you can recall the 60 okay. 66 uh, 68 68 67 68 69 okay right so that is how i joined i was the youngest member in the executive committee so they it was uh, but you were invited by the the principal not appointed i was re- rep- invited by no no i was person. nominated by the school to represent the college tutor staff, staff at the ob ob okay fine so that's a different that arrangement was that was started ranapal abodhana was the last chairman i worked under then before that there was uh, uh, i forget the names also my memory Rasaputra was there Dr Rasaputra then uh, Thomas Samusuriya was there GP uh, Chief Justice GP Silva was my uh, one of the presidents then uh, Professor Rana Singh was one of the resident I actually joined as a st- member when Professor Rana Singh was the president of the OB OB okay. so that was a starting point then I ended up with Ranapala Bodina well wound up my work because I had to go to UK when Ranapala was the president so then from that time till the that time you were involved with the ACOBA activities yeah. and you ended up uh, by the, during Ranapala Bodhinagar's time uh, were you I had to go abroad yeah but uh, were you still in the exco or were you holding any expo, other positions expo. no 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 exco only exco member but i was doing like something like preparing the register for the oba 
they were obedient ever register they had only a cr book okay so i started using the, i think guest editor or somebody supported to recording all the members numbers addresses ah, okay. everything <laughs> all done by hand by hand is a data bank basically <laughs> concept which uh, dr rajaputra uh, introduced to oba which i want to mention with yes. due respect to him we created a what something called ananda center right so all anandians get together have a some sort of a fellowship as well as discuss country matters uh, uh, share their uh, management issues corporate management issues mm-hmm. political issues uh he want he had the idea of having a separate room where anandiyas old anandiyas can uh, virtually like a small club right. see so that they can share their thoughts mm-hmm. rather than fighting in a committee meetings uh, okay so but that concept was i started it we had the anand center meetings at the, in the library or got hall uh, it went off well but after rasaputra is leaving the oba in function so what are the other salient things that during your time at uh, with with uh, anand college old boys association that you can remember like what you just mentioned about this uh, mr rasaputra introducing uh, anand center anand then, center something then another, like that another quality which i really learned from ranapala bodhinagada he was very very punctual i have seen few people are that like one is ranapala bodhinagar even oba meeting see 430 means 430 sharp is there and if <coughs> there is no quorum he shut doors he said no meeting we will postpone the meeting for next day he went off punctuality is very very important the other person in my life i have seen punctuality is madam sirma bandara very punctual so after that i have seen anybody who are punctual in anywhere okay you see that uh, unfortunately because he waste others time and is productive time that's a productivity yeah we are not, so we assume that others will wait for us or some other people will say no it will it will start at 4:30 i will i'll come at 5 o'clock <laughs> he also comes late she so goes on like this one good incident is one of the prize givings at that time I can't remember who was the principal. I I was at the OBA president. I think I was invited, and uh, Chandrika Kumar Kumar Tunga, as a chief minister, was the chief guest. She did she didn't come on time. So the principal was agitating with. I said, no, you start off. You can't allow the ch- children and the parents to. So we started off without the chief guest. Mm-hmm. So Chandrika Kumar Tunga had come and gone. when she knew that the price giving has started so that was a damn good lesson we we gave to her as well as to the people yeah. punctuality is very important appamadu apata padang also we had to practice that well even your meetings you have to start on time and if you say don't have don't have meeting for more than one and a half hours you can't sustain if you are very constructive if you are organized nothing another organized person i have seen in my life is professor gl beeris when he was the vice chancellor i was in the council <coughs> all the council meeting was sharp sharp at time starts and it was virtually one hour or one and a half hours everything was organized he knew what he wants to tell the council and he knew what he wanted the council to contribute and he was very constructive unfortunately i don't see professor peeris having that character now because he has become a political animal don't have it in the <laughs> thing but uh, i call him lakshman but those are some other things which he has learned i thought he will correct the political system with his experience but it has failed so what were the what were the, uh, the important events that you have one is of course that you said you were involved in the uh, Uh, the carnival that they have uh, had for for to collect funds for the anand vihara but other than that uh, the oba i ran about four four carnivals oh my god so the carnival man basically <laughs> i ran four <laughs> carnivals as secretary uh, the 
the first one was under G W Raja Baksa. That was my first training. Yeah. That really gave me the. And, and then thereafter, even Dr. H S Pereira and them wanted me to be the secretary of their carnivals because of that uh, organization. Exposure power. and the way that you have Organic done it. Power. Fine. Fine. That makes sense for a lot of people. So, <laughs> so, so your 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 span uh, uh, ended up as being the president of the Anand College All Boys Association at one point. For whatever you have contributed and for whatever you have excelled in your career with Ananda College, World Boss Association started off as an executive committee member. So when you became a president, then what were your uh, the motives and what were your objectives to, to attain? You would have had some set of values that you would like to get at. I was appointed as the president and elected as a president at the most difficult time because <coughs> there was an issue that Ananda should not be a Buddhist single school. So there was a lot of okay. agitation right around. I had to fight with people like Jayampati Vikramaratna because he was uh, supporting the government and Madam Chandrika was supporting that type of ideas. We should not have, this, uh, we should have secular schools, that type of... Uh, so that was, uh, we had a lot of meetings at uh, various places which I had to uh, command myself, um, ma manage the criticisms. Uh, so that was a very difficult period. The another difficult issue was the Saradharma period. Then we had a Saradharma walk at that time, first time, uh, which uh, we went fairly a long distance. I can th through Bumblebee back to college, and I remember all, almost most of the people came for that. I think Vijayarat Navaraka got one of those. Arjuna Ranudunga was one of those. Uh, various. Key people joined that mm -hmm. at my invitation. Right. Because at that time that Saradharma was getting diluted and Ananda lost that image that we had. Okay. And I don't know whether Anand, <laughs> the current Ananda is just Ananda college only without Saradharma, I don't know. Because I am not very close to Ananda. But when I see old Anand, young Anandians, I don't see that very much except for. Uday Budu Vandinekai, Uday Gata Kienekatare Mandaki. Okay, right. <laughs> but, I, but I can't make criticism. But that's all I see from college coming out. Because our days, we ended up in the class as students, you are the Tampa Vakila. Okay. Ekitibuna Gatia. Kaluja Sura was two years senior to me, and we used to travel in the train together because he, he was boarded in Kalania, Karu Jayasurya, C.C. Jayasurya, myself. Uh, we used to walk to the Maradana station and go by train to Kalania. And then he takes the Varagada road for his boarding place. I go behind the Barakarate to Dalugama to my house, poor house. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, no, I think every era, there is something learning cycle we have to do. We, I don't say that what we did do them is valid now. But there right. is something which you have to carry on for the sake of the generation and for sake of the country. The country, more than country, I call it a nation. Nation means everybody same. We had Tamils in our class. We were taught by Tamil teachers. We, were, we had Tamil girls in our class. Uh, uh, I used to, we had a, uh, in our class, there were Tamils. So we, we, we can consider the country as a one whole concept. Though we were fighting for singer under Mr. Metananda, that was a system. Mr. Metananda also fought for singer with the singer Balavegia, but he never forgot that Tamil is important. And even during time, they went, uh, we had Tamil teachers, we had Tamil children, uh, pupils in the school. But we worked together, we lived together. We lived together, okay. Fine. So there were times where people from Jaffna College came to Ananda because Ananda was better school. Mm -hmm. Right students from Jaffna College came. Dharma Soka, better students came to Ananda. Mahinda College, better students came to Ananda because we had that focus. Right, right, right. So, uh, uh, when you became the president of the Ananda College Old Boys Association, who was the principal at that time? Uh, E.A. Perusin. Ah, bet. 
Yeah, E. A. Pearson. Pearson was the principal that time. So then you. And then A. P. N. A. P. Gunaratna. A. P. Gunaratna was there. So you you completed four years uh, with, during, uh, during that with, period. During that period. And two years, I think. Oh, two years, four years. I can't remember. Oh, now of course we. Oh, I'm sorry. Two years. I'm sorry. Two, two years. years. Two years continuous yeah. and all that. So that was the time you said you were uh, faced with that uh, critical Difficult national issue. issues. Uh, you know, uh, we had to manage. Yeah, we had to manage all that. So that was something. I remember I was so criticized. I was, I was forced to sit down by a old Anandian when I spoke for a, a secular system while having a single body school. But we should not forget. We should not go to the other extremes, saying that they are they can't exist. We had to coexist with them, but respect. Uh, their religion, their uh, values, their culture, as well as look after our culture, our values, our religion. Mm -hmm. So that was a difficult. Some didn't understand. One boy I still remember, old Anandian, and he was in the OB of Chandrasekhara. He was at the extreme. He used to go behind me and folk, uh, shout against me at meetings. Uh, Ananda can't do that. But we had to change. But. Oh, today the basic issue is Anand is run by government department. Our days, during even my OBA days, Anand was separated from the government sector. He was respected as a separate special school. Yeah, that's right. I still remember I went and spoke to Education Minister Richard, Richard, Richard Patira. Patira. Richard Patira. So I, he said Anand is different. Kabral, Dr. Kabral, Ananda is different. Mama, we are keen That's how we got down uh, Damanupola. He refused to come. Mm. Okay. They, he refused to come because he wanted to look after Dharmaraja. But Richard Patina said, Ananda is much important than Dharmaraja. He forced him to come. In front of me, spoke to the, Mr. Damanupola. That's how Damanupola was brought. That's how, how Ananda was treated by the ministry. Exactly. But today, are they about? So we had to come down to ministers. Issues, hmm. unfortunately. Unfortunately, but the system is that. That is because we have lost the leadership, school leadership. Principal matters a lot. He had yeah. to stand up. Yeah. He had to sacrifice. Now they come to Ananda with the hope of getting promoted to another place for their benefit. Yeah, that's right. So that that has become a. Those days, part. people come to Ananda, retire from Ananda, because that is the pride they had. So your time, two years, started off I with had another problem, I think, during my time, other yeah. issue was when uh, Ms. Abhiratna was suspended. That's right. I had to fight against uh, that decision. I remember I went and Tara email, I told, told her, you can do anything to Abhiratna but not to Ananda principal. You can't do that simply uh, suspend Ananda principal. You can suspend Abhiratna. Not another way. So there is a way of doing it. But they went ahead with doing that. Uh, that was the time that was, they didn't also have a focus of what they were they wanted to do with the Radi Mail and all these uh, the politicians. And uh, you, uh, after that, who took over the presidency of the OBA, if you can recall, Doctor? That's a good question. <laughs> Can't remember. Ah, that's fine. I mean, we, will, we will find out. We will find out. But you took over from whom then? Paraka. Paramoli Gode. Ah, right. Okay, sir. That's what's right. Okay. So now, you, are, you have, now we discussed and we just elaborated uh, your academic career, your corporate career, your public career, and then to the career with Ananda College OBA. And apart from that, I think you were involved in certain uh, other social uh, stratas also. Like, were you attached to a, a Buddhist? Uh, uh, organizations? Yes. As I was virtually Dayakya of Madi and Panyanche Naha Nayakateru. I was the first secretary of the Turunu Savya. Uh, not the first secretary, first junior secretary. First secretary was uh, Guruge. Tevis, not, Tevis. Tevis, not Tevis Guruge. Anand Guru. Anand. Ananda Guru was secretary, Turno Savia. I was the uh, junior secretary. 
So then I subsequently became secret- secretary of that Turun Sabhi. Yes, I was the founder of the Turun Sabhi. So I used to help a lot of villagers. Uh, and uh, because I got this idea when I was in school, we used to have, uh, uh, we were supporting a school called in somewhere in Polonnaru. Mm-hmm. I went once. But I'm not going to Mr. Suryachi Kahavata was trying to develop that village as a sister village of Ananda College. Okay. Uh, so with that experience, I helped Hamduru also to develop some of the, those days called border villages. Right. So still I am doing that. Uh, I have two villages which I mentor. One is in Suryapura, Kandale. That was Suryapura call because it was uh, in the name of SKK Suryach, one of my class teachers, who named the area called Suryapura because he had a agricultural uh, extension that area. Okay. Right. Then uh, the other village I have is Palukatavava in Horopatana, which I go those days once a month, live with them, including my wife. We used to sleep in their thatch houses and eat with them and give them the mentorship. Still they are in contact with us. You know, still the two villagers, at least once a month they give a call and find out how my wife is I doing. Okay. And right. uh, so I said, I can't come, but I will try my best before my departure to visit you all once. <laughs> but they are in contact. They are in contact. So that was, that was one of the, uh, the, how do I say, the, the social from Ananda, mm. Ananda, because from uh, school of the Polonna, we are from that, <coughs> that, that experience, that exposure forced me to help so, uh, Hamduru. Then subsequently I helped Sobita Hamduru also in the Amadipya Vyapare, Tarno Sangvidhan, etc. Right. With the same view. Right. So because Sobita Madhulaya Sobita and myself same age. Uh, he went to Pera, Kare, Karani University, Vidyalankara Pirivana. So we were very close to each other. And so much so don't record nine two thousand fifty to to Mahindra Rajapaksa of Perlanda, Sobita Handro, I was the first general secretary of that movement. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, so, yeah, oh, I know that. that. <laughs> no, that's okay. That, that, that's a personal perception on which you stand yourself. Yeah. That's fine. Because we have to respect and agree on that one. Whether it's that way or this way, that's a different story. But so, those are, I consider as Anandian, those are the experience I got from Ananda as a student as an old boy, as a teacher, then subsequently in other world, all those experiences were useful for my upcoming Bringing up to this level. level. Okay, fine, fine. So, uh, I think one, one last, uh, no, not last, but just to conclude this, uh, this one, then I would like to draw your attention and get into your, the other side of your life, because we have been only talking about the front side, the academics, the state, the public, the the religious, the social and all that. But then looking back to your uh, own life, there is obviously someone who would have uh, stood by your side as your shadow and giving you all the courage, time, benevolence and also patience to do all these things. So tell us about how did you uh, have, how, I mean, your, your meeting, uh, your, your better half uh, and how did it happen? I met my better half. I taught her gave tuition. Her sister was with me in the university. That's how I came across her. But I never involved my other activity with them except the Ananda College activities. Carnival, she ran several stalls. Kopika Day was one of hers. And, uh, but other than other activities, I never involved my children nor my wife in those. Because I took it my responsibility because I didn't want them to get involved. So even now I allow my children to have their own opinions. Uh, If they can acquire something from me, what I did, that is a different issue. But I won't work with them. So even today I am very independent. Okay. I am not a burden for my children. Younger chap, I have two sons. One is two sons. uh, One studied, uh, elder studied at Ananda, other one at uh, DS Saranayaka. Uh, he's in the UK. He has settled down there. He comes once a year. Uh, elder fellow is Dhammika Kabral, who was in the OBA for some time. He's 
close by. That's why we came here, so that we are under his umbrella for any emergency. Uh, other than that, uh, I never got involved. My political platform, my family was never involved. My values, yes, I share with my children, but I ask them to take their own decisions in terms of values and other customs. But if I am successful, you accept it. But don't copy me. But I am proud to say they have, so far they have never sold my word, my name for any of the I they have found their own way and got into the limelight. Okay, that's very good. Though and Mrs. Sirima Bandana has signed as a witness for their <laughs> weddings. <laughs> that was a social star. No? That was a, <laughs> nothing to do with politics. That is the no only power. thing. That is the only thing. So then your wife was uh, basically... She was, was a she, she was uh, employed by the time that no. you... Uh, she entered the medical faculty but I didn't allow her to go. <laughs> so I said your role is to be a wife. So I, I will look after the other part. So she she refused to enter the medical faculty oh, and okay. worked with me and went with me to UK after getting married right. for the my postgraduate. There he worked as a factory worker to earn money oh, in the in the UK. That's how I brought the car. <laughs> okay. So that was an interesting uh, uh, interesting piece of uh, experience to to narrate to others also. And one final thing, Dr. Kapral, I would like to ask, having said all Call me Ranjit. Huh? Call me Ranjit. Okay. I, I so, I, I, one last thing I would like is to give your honest opinion about how the OBA should look at things and the way forward as we are now. Taking into consideration the political strata of the country, the social background of the country, forget about the economics, but at least those two taken into consideration how do you think, or what is your advice or what is your guideline for the young old Anandians who are running around with Ananda College OB Old Boys Association to make their contributions? I won't give advices. I'll give my opinion, how I see. One is, I think the old boys, OBA should look after the old boys in terms of their growth, in terms of their jobs, in terms of their training, in terms of their growth in, the, in their life. Because there are, we can't assume that all Anandas are good. We can't assume all Anandas are doing good. All assume, can't assume that all Anandas are rich. They are from various startups. So we have to stratify these things and help, mutual help should be there. That is one. Number two is, uh, number two is the school. But you should not dictate terms of school. You have to see you have to cultivate something where principal will seek your advice, principal will seek your help, then you look out. But first priority should be old boys. Second priority will be the school. Third is, uh, important as well as the first two is the country. Whatever you do, think of the country. Whatever you do, think of the uh, reconciliation activities. Think, think of it as a, not a single Buddhist country. It's not a single Buddhist country, it's a one nation. There are Tamils, there are Muslims, we have to look after them now, so they are our brothers. As a Buddhist, I might, I might born again as a Muslim, I don't know. I might get married to a Muslim girl or a Tamil girl next time, I don't know. So we have to think of one country, one nation, we are all manusya, that is the most important concept. We were brought up like that, like by Mr. Metanan this time. Mr. Gulratna also did the same thing, I believe, because though I didn't have much experience with him. But look at this country as one nation. All are, have the equality while respecting your own values, your own culture, your own saradharma. I think that makes us... Uh... Final, I want to... Give. I had a book here, where did I keep it? Education aiming for stars. Okay. So I, I will put this something like this. Ananda is for aiming at creating stars. Whatever field, whether it's education, sports or politics, we have created stars. Our stars were S.A. Vikram Singh, N.M. Pereira in the political field. Then uh, we have educationists like Professor J.B. Disanayaka, Professor Ayapa Singh and them. 
and Surya, uh, this, uh, the, the engineers like yeah. uh, BMA Bala Surya, they are world renowned. So Ananda aiming for stars, that concept. Now this concept is written by a M- uh, Employee Federation Sec- Secretary General, uh, Elm, uh, Franklin Amarasin. Okay. One of the books I really value, his ideas, he talks about, he, though he is a Catholic, he, he talks about uh, the Arya Ashtanga Marga. Right? Mm-hmm. So I, I kindly appeal to the OBA, put f- few of your members to how to implement this, how to inculcate this to current Anandians. So I will formally give this book to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sanjita. I appreciate it. Yeah, very much. This, I, am, I have translated to Singhala. Okay. I have translated to Tamil. That is e versions that I will send across to you. So that is my okay. final appeal for the college. Because after reading this, I thought, I have missed the bus. Though I have acquired all these things without anybody telling me. Mm-hmm. But he has put it up beautifully. Uh, uh, so ideas into this. Then, uh, you know, Try to conduct several workshops for the current students. Based on this. I will help as much as possible. Okay. Though I, my memory is not that strong no, now. At so. my 80 years. <laughs> I don't um, think you have come out a good, very good memory and very good recollection of the incidents. Yeah, but I, yeah, because I always think about yes. all these things. So that is my last appeal. Try to implement this at Ananda. Ananda will become a different school. That's all I want to say. So, Ajita, thank you so much. Ata, ata. And wish you all uh, good health. Ogalanda Teruva Saranai. Long Chana. life. Teruva thank Saranai. you. Uh, we are in the departure lounge. Yeah. I can't expect yeah. any more long life. But, but, uh, but long way to get the body pass it. You never know. <laughs> so, so thank you very but much for coming. Have a little bit of tea I organized. 